Hello everyone, my name is SN Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss cylinder and working rule, how to find the equation of cylinder when whose generator intersect guiding curve. Let us see what is the cylinder. Cylinder is a surface generated by straight line parallel to a fixed line and passing through a given closed curve. Now, these are the generator. These are the generator and all the generator are parallel to the fixed line. This fixed line is called axis of the cylinder. The curve, this is the curve, is known as, is known as guiding curve. Okay. And any straight line parallel to the axis of cylinder and passing through the directives is known as generator. These are the generator okay these are the generator now let us see the working rule to find the equation of cylinder whose generators intersect the guiding curve now we have the equation and the guiding curve okay and these are the parallel to the line x upon l is equal to y upon m is equal to z upon n first of all we trace the diagram. Suppose this is the cylinder. This is the cylinder. Okay. This is the axis of the cylinder. Okay. This is axis. Now we take P be the point on the cylinder. Say X1, Y1, Z1. Let us take the point P on the cylinder. Okay. Therefore, the equation of the generator through this point P and parallel to this line. Okay. Is x minus x1 divided by L is equal to y minus y1 divided by M is equal to z minus z1 divided by N is equal to suppose K. Now, from this equation, we find the general point. That is, we find the x, y, z. For x, we consider first and last. L is multiplied here and x1 will be added there. Similarly, we find the y and z. We get the general point. So, this is the x, this is the y, and this is the z. Okay. Now, this point, these are the general point. For some value of the k, these are the satisfy equation 1 and 2. Okay. Therefore, this point satisfy the equation 1 and 2. We substitute here in equation 1 and 2. Okay. Now, the from equation 5 and 6, generally 6, when we simplify the 6, when we simplify the equation of the plane, then we get the value of the k. So, here we uh, we get the k here and we put k in equation number 5. In this way, we eliminate the k and then we get the equation of the type in terms of x1, y1, z1 is equal to 0. Now, the locus means the locus of the point P means we write x, y, z instead of x1, y1, z1. So we get required equation of the cylinder. Okay, the working rule is very easy. Just consider the point P, X1, Y1, Z1. Write the symmetrical equation of the line where we get the X, Y, Z. Substitute the X, Y, Z in 1 and 2 and from 1 and 2 eliminate the value of the K. Here actually what happened? In equation 6, we get the value of the K and substitute the K in equation 5. In this way, we can eliminate. Sometimes the equation number 6 means equation number 2 is simply x is equal to constant here, y is equal to constant here, z equal to 0. Means x is equal to, there is a some particular value, otherwise 0 is there, yeah, z equal to 0, means x o y plane in this way. If simply x, y, z is equal to constant, then there is no need of considering the k here, okay, just put the value of the x, y, z, whatever the given in problem and simplify we get immediate 
answer. Okay. Now let us see the example on the cylinder whose generator intersect the guiding crown. Now we have the we have the equation of the cylinder. Sorry, we have to here find equation of cylinder whose generator are parallel to the line and passing through the curve means the generator intersect this circle x square plus y square is equal to 16 and z equal to 0. z equal to 0 means x o y plane. Okay. See, so this is the cylinder. Here the z is 0. z is 0. Otherwise, we can consider z here 0. Okay. Now, we consider here, we consider p be the point be the any point on the cylinder say x1 y1 z1 okay then the equation of the line is x minus x1 divided by 1 y minus y1 divided by 2 z minus z1 divided by 3 okay now here i already told you if the plane is simply x y z is equal to constant yeah zero then there is no need of considering the symmetrical line is equal to k. Just put this z equal to 0. Okay. Now, this uh, also, this generator meet the plane. See here. These are the generator. Okay. And meet the plane at z is equal to 0. Okay. So, there is no considering the value here k. Just put the value of z equal to 0. Then, then what happens? Z equal to 0. Then last equation is simply minus Z1 upon 3. Okay. Now here the X will be obtained. 1 is multiplied to Z1 minus Z1 and minus X1 will be added. So we get the value of X is X1 minus Z1 divided by 3. Similarly, the 2 is multiplied here and minus Y, it becomes plus Y. We get the value of Y. Okay. And here the Z is already given. That is Z equal to zero now here we have the value of x y z okay we put this x and y in a guiding curve we have the guiding curve x square plus y square is equal to 16 okay now uh, put here x and y here so equation one become sorry the this equation uh, suppose uh, we have the guiding curve not equation 1, we have the guiding curve x square plus y square. So, equation 2 become 2 is the value of the x is x1 minus z1 upon 3 bracket square. Value of the y is y1 minus 2 times z1 upon 3 bracket square is equal to 16. Okay. Now, this is first we simplify the bracket. The 3 is multiplied here x1 similarly 3 multiplied to the y1 here the whole denominator is 3 and it's square that is 9 similarly here 9 the 9 is multiplied to the left hand side now it can be written as uh, 3 times x1 minus z1 bracket square plus 3 times y1 minus 2 times z1 bracket square and here denominator is 9 denominator is 9 Okay, denominator is same. That is throughout denominator is 9. 9 is multiplied to the left hand side. That is 9 into 16. Okay, now simplify the left hand side as like a minus b bracket square. And we know a minus b bracket square is, is a square minus twice a b plus b square. Okay, let us simplify. That is 9x1 square minus 2 times, 2 times that is uh, 3 into, 3 into 2, 6 and this z1 that is uh, 6x1 z1 okay plus b square that is simply z1 square. Now plus here 9y1 square minus 3 into 2, 6, 6 into 2, 12 y1 z1 and uh, plus 4 times z1 square okay is equal to 9 into 16 that is 144 okay let us construct the x1 square term the x1 square term is simply one time repeated that is simply 9 times x1 square now construct the 
y1 so there is a only one y1 term and whose coefficient is 9 9 times y1 square now z1 z1 is here 1 times z1 and here 4 times z1 that is a 5 times 5 times z1 square now construct the two variable term here uh, minus 6 x1 z1 here minus 12 y1 z1 and here minus 144 is equal to 0 okay now the locus p is x1 y1 z1 okay therefore we write here instead of x y z we write we write here we write x y z instead of instead of x1 y1 z1 so we get the 9 x square plus 9 y square plus 5 times z square okay minus 6 times x into z 12 times y z minus 144 is equal to 0 which is required equation of cylinder which is required equation of cylinder okay whose generator intersect the circle and the plane z equal to zero okay let us see the another example where z is not there uh, means equation of plane is there in the form of ax plus by plus c z let us see okay the question is find Question is find the cylinder with generator parallel to the line x is equal to y is equal to z with guiding curve x square plus 2y square plus 6 times yx minus 2z plus 8 is equal to 0 and the plane x minus 2y plus 3 equal to 0. In previous equation, there is simply z equal to 0. If simply x, y, z equal to 0, then problem is very easy. In symmetrical equation, there is no need of considering k. Right now, here we consider the k. Okay, so first we draw the uh, cylinder, suppose this is the guiding curve, okay, these are the generator okay. and the generator intersect to this guiding curve, this is the axis and we consider P point X1, Y1, Z1, okay, let C, let the given guiding curve and the equation of the plane now P be the any point x1, y1, z1 on the cylinder on the cylinder. Okay, the equation of general line, the equation of line is x minus x1 divided by DRS that is 1, 1, 1. Y minus Y1 divided by 1. Z minus Z1 divided by 1. C, K. C equation number 3. Okay. In previous, we, uh, here we have not considered K. We direct put the value of the plane. Right now there is a plane in terms of AX plus BY plus CZ plus D. Okay. So here consider the k and identify the x. The x is equal to consider first and last one is multiplied and x1 we add there that is x1 plus k. Similarly y is equal to y1 plus k and z is equal to z1 plus k. Now for some value see these are the general point okay these are the general point for some value of k this x y z satisfy the equation 1 and 2 okay so we first put the this point general point for some value of k in equation 2 here we get the value of k put in equation 2 put in equation 2 so equation 2 become the value of the x is x1 plus k minus 2 times value of the y is y1 plus k and plus 3 is equal to 0. Okay. Now here. Here. Uh, X1. 
first we construct the x, y, z, x1 minus 2 times y1. Now construct the k, k plus k and minus 2 times k plus 1 minus 2 minus 1 and plus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, now I am putting minus k in right hand side so that we get the value of the k. The k is equal to x1 minus 2 times y1 plus 3. Okay, now we put this k in a, suppose this is, these are the general points, suppose equation 4, we this put this point in equation number 4. So that k is eliminate, put in 4, that is the value of the x, value of the x is equal to x1 plus x1 minus 2 time y1 plus 3. So the value of the x is 2 time x1 minus 2 time y1 plus 3. Okay. Now y is equal to y1 plus x1 minus 2 time y1 plus 3. So y is equal to x1 plus 1 and minus 2 minus 1 plus 3. Now z is equal to z is equal to now I am putting z is equal to z1 plus k. So here there is a no z term is here that is uh, x1 minus 2 time y1 plus z1 plus 3. So this is the value of z. Now put this value in equation equation number 1 put in equation 1. See here, uh, from the symmetrical equation, we find the x, y, z. Okay. And we put this x, y, z in a equation 2, we get the k. Again, we substitute the k, we get the x, y, z. And put this x, y, z in a equation 1, we will get the required equation. Now put in equation 1. So equation 1 become the value of x is 2 times x1 minus 2 times y1 plus 3 bracket square plus 2 times the value of y is x1 minus y1 plus 3 bracket square plus 6 times y into x that is x1 minus y1 plus 3. Value of x is 2 times x1 minus 2 times y1 plus 3. Now minus 2 times z x1 minus 2 times y1 plus z1 plus 3 and plus 8 is equal to 0. Okay. Now the locus of the point P is instead of x1, y1, z1, right x, y, z, the locus point P. Okay. That is P, x1, y1, Z1 be the locus point. Okay. That is it can be written as 2 times x minus 2 times y plus 3 bracket square 2 times x minus y plus 3 bracket square 6 x minus y plus 3 2 x minus 2 y plus 3 minus 2 times x 2 y plus z plus 3 plus 8 is equal to 0. Now simplify here. We get required equation. Okay. After applying here a plus b plus c bracket square simplify. Okay. We will get the required equation which is required equation of cylinder. Okay.